Okay, hello guys, I welcome you to my channel Photonics PTE and then I'm going to uh, show you or dem demonstrate to you a short video and uh, it's about a user defined functions and an aggregate function. How are we going to use it? And it's normally used as by the name suggests just to add up the two uh, values. So we're going to add up, normally we can use the sum uh, the addition but in different languages we have different uh, usage and in Python as you know that we in the Notabene Tech on Tube we use the sum and just have uh, the two uh, digits to be added on and the result was in front of uh, instead of using sum you can add just the two uh, digits and the sum uh, the result, the result was in front of you. But with the aggregate user defined function, normally it may help us to actually uh, in applications or in uh, in certain cases in which we want to actually use it according to our um, uh, according to our requirement. That is why in the user defined functions are normally created and uh, used uh, for uh, the sole purposes of that situation or criteria. So uh, s uh, keeping that in mind, the uh, sole uh, purpose of this video is just to demonstrate that demonstrate you that the whole uh, program, the simple coding that may add up the two values and uh, show how we can use uh, the user defined function. The prerequisite of a user defined function is that you have to use uh, the uh, step uh, function as well and you have to use the finalized function that will return the value uh, when you're going to add up step means you're going to add or step up uh, the uh, uh, the count and uh, afterwards you're going to return uh, the whole together value so uh, import SQLite uh, just import the SQLite 3 creating a class which is a sum up and uh, you can uh, use it uh, to uh, Actually, just name it as in sum up because it will sum and up by you stepping up uh, with another value. So, first of all, uh, in it defining as an in itself, okay, uh, self dot count is equal to zero. First of all, it's starting from zero, and I'm going to uh, step up uh, with the the self uh, with a with a value and adding up to the self dot count as well that value. So uh, it would be after returning it, if it would be self dot count, that will be the finalized value that will be returned uh, as a result. So connecting as an SQLite three connection and uh, with the memory of the databases and con dot create aggregate. This is the user defined function. You have to use, uh, you have to create the user defined function. I have created by the name uh, create aggregate and name it as an aggregate as well okay because it can normally have the three arguments as we have used in uh, our previous video uh, for the cryptographic hashes and uh, that was or the secure hashes uh, we use it uh, also uh, the same three argument uh, function so in this case also uh, when we're going uh, to uh, create uh, uh, the uh, aggregate it will be a three uh, three step uh, okay th three step argument or three-step function it would be uh, first of all the naming afterwards is the parameters and also it is in the it is also uh, the uh, name of uh, that uh, function as well so first of all the naming is aggregated the parameters are one and the name of the function is sum up and uh, cursor mean opening up uh, with the uh, uh, opening up uh, uh, with the databases we normally use the cursor and the cursor will be connected and obviously I have named it as CUR cur as an uh, as an define a name and uh, it will uh, you are going to use it as an uh, variable as well so uh, cur I'm going to execute the same uh, cursor value that has now been connected uh, to the databases and now been given a name as well CUR and I'm going to execute that uh, connected uh, open database uh, value and uh, obviously uh, I have already been uh, all of that is also the connected uh, the connected database value is the aggregate value and the aggregate value is being defined by using three arguments so let's uh, uh, just uh, uh, just do it in a quick a conquer dot execute mean creating the table that is addition adding up giving it I you can caps uh, capital uh, capitalize or you can use it just a small I it's really up to you creating the table addition I then again creating the uh, yet yet again executing it insert into addition I values 9 yes you have to insert into the uh, insert into the table okay